and welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Seven Days to Die. Oh yeah, we got the battlements in. All four, all four are done. They're just drying. That one I think is all dry. So that is a little shadowed underneath, but that's okay because we're going to be adding some lights and other finer details in just a moment so let's see i've got lots of wood i've got some concrete uh, let's see anything else i might need well, let me grab some torches where are my torches there they are so let's look at concrete i want some arrow slits uh, give me like 20 of these now I've seen a lot of people, uh, you know, this, some of the videos I've watched and some of the things that I've seen, a lot of people place these wrong. Uh, and so I would like to show a little kind of a way to place these that uh, isn't wrong. So a lot of people place them like this and that is actually incorrect uh, because you you're you're limited and even if you s poke up like way way into there your 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 vision is still going to be obscured uh, so you want a good 45 degrees on each side and that's how you do that just like this um, but these are going to be recessed and these are going to be acting like windows so we don't mind that they're inset a little bit no, not down, not sideways. No, not, no, 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 still no. Not quite. I'm not sure where it's going with this. There we go. And we want to finish these off. We want these to, to look a little bit better than that. Uh, so let's go to the other side and do the same thing. So one here and here here and here and I'm going to reset that so I don't do the whole shenanigans again with the rotation okay now let's go back out and see what the spacing is on that okay so those are inset like there now, if I put another set down here, that will kind of set a precedent to be a, to to have to put another set up here to kind of keep uh, an equal spacing. Because it would look funny if there is one here, one here, and then nothing up here. Uh, so we're going to need to add another set down here. Oh, and I've got a torch right there. So one here and here. Kind of wasting my bricks. Finish those off. That way the window is inset. And we get a little color change. Oh, I'm not going to do that again. Okay. So let's see what the spacing is. I finished those off, right? Yep. So it looks like what? Four blocks? No, three blocks. One, two, three. Three blocks difference between the two. So that means we're going to want another one three blocks up from that. And then that should be fine for the rest. Once those dry, those will be a nice uh, light gray to contrast with the dark brick. So how am I going to get up there? Uh, I think you can only go so far 
without connecting rebar to a something solid I found. So there is one, two, three. So the brick right there and there. That's where we want to be. I want to get it marked and then I can use my stairs inside to finish that off. So over here is going to be a little taller. I don't want to do it too much. If I put, see if I put this there, it'll make that slope a little weird. So I want to Oh, that's not a good spot either. How about if I go down here? It's a little bit better. And again, I found that you want to connect that to a wall or something if you're pillaring up. So one, two, three. So this right here is where I want to break. There and there. like that. So let's go up in the tower and see exactly where that is. And I'm going to need some more uh, of these. So let's make a 30 more. And I need to go up, 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 up. So where would that be? Oh, right here. Really? That seems pretty, pretty convenient. All right, well, I'll take it. And then over here, we want to want another one there and there. So here, let's finish that off since we're not going to have access to it. in there and the rest of these so it's like so that's one two three and then the, then we've got this so it doesn't it doesn't work going up the rest of the way Ooh, can I jump across here again Woo. okay let's uh, get this squared away here oh I missed it Finish that off. All right. Let's go check that out. I can drop down here, I think. Take a peek at it. Oh, yeah, not too bad. Spaced out, looks pretty good. And the sides here, same thing. And I could even add a like a white adobe, just a single ramp on top to, to act like an awning. If this isn't enough color change, I gotta wait till those dry to really know if that's going to be enough now the center here i've been looking and staring at it and contemplating trying to figure out what i want to do about this center window and this it's tough because i'd like to keep those isolated but i don't think i'm going to be able to because it kind of looks crappy to be honest so i want first of all I don't think I need any rebar frame any ramp anymore. Let me keep the rebar frame on me so I can use that to scaffold. So I want to pillar up here. Train. And connect that there. So I can continue my climb. Connect that there. So I want to frame this window with 
like so. And that leaves a little negative space in there. It'll leave a little negative space in there. So, come over here, do the same thing. And it kind of darkens that, unfortunately. Causes that to really be blocked out. And now I would like to put a torch here and here. And then, let's see, window. Uh, let's make uh, 5, 10, 20, 25 of these. And we're going to put some window action in here. There we go. So let's try to back out here as calmly as we can. See how that looks. Not too bad. I might want to add some more flagstone right there and there, but I like that kind of pattern. Sort of looks like an arrow, you know, you got the you got this going up there. I like that there's some negative space, you know, kind of in and around. Okay, let's look at torches in here. So one in there. Try to get a little light to bleed through the windows. So at night, you get a little bit of that lighting coming through. And we're getting kind of late in the day here, so we should see a little bit of that. So we get a little bit of light leading through. You get a little bit of that coming through, and it kind of makes it look active and alive. And the only one is the one up there. So I'm going to probably want another set, oops, another set of torches for the top windows. The attic up here. We won't get any light. I don't think it'll any light will bleed through that top one, but it might. Okay. So now that we have those done. It's going to look kind of cool at night, I think. The light coming in through the window on the top. Now, I was thinking about, like, the feasts and all that kind of stuff for the Great Hall. And I think back here, what we're going to do is I'm going to have a structure uh, attached to the building way down here. And that will be our kitchens. Because I should be able to put a doorway in the back here because our stairs to go down to the to the basement are right here so it's, this is kind of a walk-in basement right here and so let me hop to the other side and show you what I'm thinking here so back in this corner we have this little staircase coming down and I could put a a uh, doorway right here and have those be the kitchens and then the food can come up through here and you know the dining hall can be like over here you could have this huge dining table here so the table I want to see if I can oh I think I did have some stairs see if I can't do a fancy table by using upside down stairs so one, two, so if I put this here, another one goes there, okay. So let me put a few of these along the side here. 
and then the other side. Oh, I need some more stairs. Uh, let me add 20 more of these. So that's like our that's like our table. And then chairs can go along this side, although we don't really have chairs. Do we have chairs that I can make here? Uh, wooden chairs, but I need nails for wooden chairs. So I'll be able to put some wooden chairs along the side. And unfortunately, you know, we don't have yet the corner stair blocks that Madmol recently put into Alpha 16. So those are coming. We just don't have them yet. But yeah, so that'll be like a big dining room table. The food, you know, all the servants will come up through here, sneak out underneath here and, you know, serve the guests out here. So that is my idea for a kitchen because I don't have any kitchen facilities in here. We don't even have a way of doing a fireplace in here, which is something I didn't think about when I started building. Oh, look at that. That one dried before these. It's kind of amazing. So yeah, that is a nice contrast between the two colors there and textures, showing a little bit of extra, extra effort all right, so back here where we're going to have the kitchens, I want to try to not make this too ugly, but I also need a way to get flagstone up to that window so I can frame that window as well with flagstone like I did the other side, which is why I you know, initially thought I should put a building back here so I can tie that in. So I just don't have flagstone coming all the way down to the ground and... That would kind of look weird. So yeah, that is some detail work that we're getting done here. So the, do I have, what do I need? I got flagstone. I don't have enough bricks, so I might make the walls brick pavers. Um, and let's get some ramps just in case. I could even make them cobblestone if I wanted to. Kind of break up the flagstone a little bit in the back. So, I got wood. I don't need the inner, inner corner rebar frames, and I don't need the rebar frame ramps either. Okay, I think I'm good for that, and I need an auger. How much fuel? You only have 73 fuel. Give you a little bit more fuel. Okay. So I need to go into the basement first, find out where I want that doorway kind of as close to the stairwell as I can. So like right in here. So right there is perfect. All right. So let's uh, frame this out first. And let's see, we're gonna want to come out like this. And then we're going to want to at least come halfway over. And because this way, you know, kitchens over here, uh, if they need water, they'll be able to walk right out there and there's the river. So they'll be able to get water really easily. Uh, I don't want to encompass this whole back area. So I just want to cut this off somewhere like here. So that can be our kitchen, 
and we'll have it kind of a lean to where it'll be just there'll be a roof coming straight off the building so if that's going to be my frame I'm going to need some flagstone underneath for more or less a built-in permanent look so let's Oh. Come over here. There we go. I really wish the ground went right up to the block. I really hate how it does that, but it's kind of a side effect of the non-blocky terrain that this game has so it is a side effect of that so to get rid of to be able to match that up i think they would really have to do some crazy algorithm work to to say okay this block is dirt but this block is you know a block and so move those polygons up to the edge and i think that would be a, a quite a bit of work actually okay so where's gonna be my door so that's my doorway in I could have a bunch of stuff in here I need to get rid of this floor and the floor I think is going to be pavers otherwise it would be just too much flagstone okay so I don't really care about where the apply or where all the little details are I mean that's that can be sorted out anytime what I do care about is how tall so I want this outside to be flagstone block at least the edges like that maybe one more one more over here and then the rest can be flagstone or our uh, pavers so the door into here I think we can put it just line it up with that just like that And then the roof, will come off of here. So I'll, if I have shingles on top of here, and I, shingles all the way across, then I need one more layer of pavers here. And then I can do a flagstone up the side. And that will tie in to the flagstone that's up there. And I didn't bring any. Oh, I did bring some. So if I want that and that. Okay, so flagstone. And then pavers. Then flagstone. Uh, 
pavers, flagstone, paver, ramp, uh, flagstone, ramp, like that. And then I'll have, I'll tie in the shingles going all the way across in the middle. And I didn't put anything there. But we've gone way over time. So I will continue working on this and come back next time for a little bit more progress in our castle. So I thank you for watching and I will see you next time.